In this video, we are going to take a look at the eighth multiplication rule, and that's multiplying anything times the number 6. Using the distributive property, the key is recognizing that 6 is the same thing as 5 plus 1. The first example is 3 times 6. 6 is the same thing as 5 plus 1. Using the distributive property, we now have 3 times 5 plus 3 times 1. 3 times 5 is equal to 15, and 3 times 1 is equal to 3. Adding them together, 15 plus 3 is equal to 18. Therefore, 3 times 6 is equal to 18. 4 times 6. 6 is the same thing as 5 plus 1. Using the distributive property, we now have 4 times 5 plus 4 times 1. 4 times 5 is equal to 20. And 4 times 1 is equal to 4. Adding them together, 20 plus 4 is equal to 24. Therefore, 4 times 6 is equal to 24. 6 times 6 is the same thing as 6 times 5 plus 1. Using the distributive property, we now have 6 times 5 plus 6 times 1. 6 times 5 is equal to 30. And 6 times 1 is equal to 6. Adding them together, 30 plus 6 is equal to 36. 6 times 6 is equal to 36. 7 times 6 is the same thing as 7 times 5 plus 1. Using the distributive property, we now have 7 times 5 plus 7 times 1. 7 times 5 is equal to 35. And 7 times 1 is equal to 7. Adding them together, 35 plus 7 is equal to 42. 7 times 6 is equal to 42. For 2 times 6, we just use the rule of 2. 2 times 6 is the same thing as 6 plus 6. 12. Therefore, 2 times 6 is equal to 12. For 5 times 6, we just use the rule of 5. 5 times 6 is the same thing as counting by 5 6 times. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So we see that 5 times 6 is equal to 30. For 1 times 6, we just use the rule of 1. So 1 times 6 is equal to 6. 8 times 6 is the same thing as 8 times 5 plus 1. Using the distributive property, we now have 8 times 5 plus 8 times 1. 8 times 5 is equal to 40. And 8 times 1 is equal to 8. Adding them together, 40 plus 8 is equal to 48. 8 times 6 is equal to 48. For 10 times 6, we just use the rule of 10. 10 times 6 is a 6 with an added 0. 60. 9 times 6 is the same thing as 9 times 5 plus 1. Using the distributive property, we now have 9 times 5 plus 9 times 1. 9 times 5 is equal to 45. And 9 times 1 is equal to 9. Adding them together, 45 plus 9 is equal to 54. 9 times 6 is equal to 54. 6 times 7 is the same thing as 5 plus 1 times 7. Using the distributive property, 
We now have 5 times 7, plus 1 times 7. 5 times 7 is equal to 35. And 1 times 7 is equal to 7. Adding them together, 35 plus 7 is equal to 42. 6 times 7 is equal to 42. For 6 times 4, we just use the rule of 4. 6 times 4 is the same thing as 6 times 2, 2 times. 6 times 2 is equal to 12. And 12 times 2 is equal to 24. Therefore, 6 times 4 is equal to 24. For 6 times 2, we just use the rule of 2. 6 times 2 is the same thing as 6 plus 6. 12. Therefore, 6 times 2 is equal to 12. For 6 times 5, we just use the rule of 5. 6 times 5 is the same thing as counting by 5 6 times. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So we see that 6 times 5 is equal to 30. 6 times 3 is the same thing as 5 plus 1 times 3. Using the distributive property, we now have 5 times 3 plus 1 times 3. 5 times 3 is equal to 15. And 1 times 3 is equal to 3. Adding them together, 15 plus 3 is equal to 18. Therefore, 6 times 3 is equal to 18. For 6 times 1, we just use the rule of 1. So 6 times 1 is equal to 6. 6 times 6 is the same thing as 6 times 5 plus 1. Using the distributive property, we now have 6 times 5 plus 6 times 1. 6 times 5 is equal to 30. And 6 times 1 is equal to 6. Adding them together, 30 plus 6 is equal to 36. 6 times 6 is equal to 36. For 6 times 9, we just use the rule of 9. Starting from the number 6, 1 less than 6 is 5. So 5 is your first number. Then we say 5 plus what number would give us 9? 4. So 54 is your answer. For 6 times 10, we just use the rule of 10. 6 times 10 is a 6 with an added 0. 60. Now for our last example. 6 times 8 is the same thing as 5 plus 1 times 8. Using the distributive property, we now have 5 times 8 plus 1 times 8. 5 times 8 is equal to 40. And 1 times 8 is equal to 8. Adding them together, 40 plus 8 is equal to 48. Therefore, 6 times 8 is equal to 48.